Good morning. Um, welcome or welcome back to the Lockhart Chronicles. Today we're reading books. Oh, people are walking. <laughs> Why did I decide to do this here? I could have went to an empty spot. Instead, I decided to park in between two cars and there's a gentleman walking and he is in the car parked next to me so we're just going to pretend that nothing is happening i'm currently reading reading daisy hates by jessa hastings it's the second book in the magnolia parks series and this is focusing on daisy and christian and julian julian is her brother who is a mob boss yeah i guess that's equivalent to what it is i know they're real and i know like gangs are real but at the same time they all just seem so fictional <laughs> like in my head i'm like it's 2023 gangs don't exist <laughs> mobs don't exist but like obviously that is not correct i don't know why they just seem so made up to me so we're reading that it's in the three POV, so Daisy's POV. She is 19, which is absurd to me that she is that young. I don't know why that like freaks me out, but she is going to medical school to be a doctor because she has to stitch all of her brother's lost boys up. Her and Christian have a friends with benefits relationship and <laughs> those never do well fascinating the different styles of writing they're all three so different daisies she has a lot of footnotes which i dislike i hate footnotes in books oh they make me so mad uh, whereas julian his is very like choppy sharp to the point there's no fluff nothing and then christian's is just a regular white dude i guess <laughs> His is a little bit more like romanticized too. Also, the fog is so bad here today. I was kind of scared driving to the gym this morning across a busy intersection, typically. It's usually not bad on Sundays. I still get nervous and you can't, the visibility is not there. Bottoms up. Today we're hitting shoulders. Boulder, shoulder. And then I'm playing pickleball with one of my girlies this afternoon. I'm so excited. I just love it. I'm so sore though. So I did legs and played pickleball on the same day the other day. And I could, I could barely get out of bed this morning. Yesterday I was pretty sore. This morning, wow. The doms, they really hit delayed onset muscle soreness. See, look at that footnote. Turn in a daisy. Go pick things up and put them down. Wow, what a day it's been. So yeah, I saw you this morning at my retainers and I don't feel like taking them out. So you get the lispy side of me. Saw me this morning when I was on my way to the gym and it is now many, many hours later, AKA it is my bedtime, which is why I'm in my bed. And today just like got away from me. I didn't read at all. I do plan to read a little bit right now before I go to sleep, but yeah, I ended up getting back from the gym, meal prepping, cleaning a little bit, and then went and played pickleball for a couple hours, got back, some editing and a little bit more cleaning. Now we're here and it's bedtime. <laughs> Let's read, I am only on chapter five. news i thought i had volleyball tonight i don't but also it makes me kind of nervous that i actually do and just don't have it written down anywhere as far as i'm aware i don't have volleyball tonight which means i'm gonna read for a little bit i went to costco and spent a lot more than i normally do to be fair i got a new winter jacket it's great because mine was just shredding at the seams and i've had that jacket for 10 plus years and i love it so much i I hate getting new winter jackets because I just get so attached to the ones that I have that keep me warm. Winter jacket in Minnesota is very, very important. So I got a new winter jacket and also new jeans from Costco. 
and just some other like random stuff. I'm gonna read for a little bit before dinner. I do have some editing to get done. I haven't been reading much for the last couple days. I really like to get into it. I wanna read. I just feel like I have so much other things to do. say hi every time I film a clip. Got back from work, did a little bit of editing, and then scrolled on my phone and I just need to like get rid of my phone. It's so distracting. I just hate being on it and it gives me a lot of anxiety. I am on chapter 14, page 82, and I would like to have just a sprint for the next hour and a half-ish. I have volleyball tonight at seven, so I don't have to leave here until after six. I would like to sprint for the next hour or so just to see how far I can get. I was originally going to make this reading vlog like a challenge vlog like oh read 200 pages a day. I'm lucky if I can read 10 right now. I've just been so busy doing other things and again when I'm not busy I just end up somehow on my phone and I hate it and I would rather be reading or doing literally anything else. It's happening and I, I mean should I tell you what's happening like without spoilers? One of Daisy's Exes is back and it sounds like they have a very similar relationship to Magnolia and BJ just like very back and forth on and off again This text chain. Relax, Jules. We're on our way back. We're? It's the compound word for we are. I have not missed you. <laughs> Frown face. I just thought that was so funny. Like, <laughs> the frown face. <laughs> I don't know why that was just so funny. I've been laughing about it for three minutes now. <laughs> Hours up. Yay, we sprinted for a whole hour. I'm on page 120, chapter 20. So about 42 pages I read in an hour, which is my typical reading speed. Olivia read the latte. I was saying that she can read about 100 pages per hour. I'm like, girl, how? <laughs> I just love Daisy flirting with all of these other guys. It just cracks me up. And then, you know, her situationship with Christian, and how other people are in the picture. And Christian and her are always being like, we don't do jealous, we're not jealous. And both of them are obviously jealous. And they do stupid things. I just got home from work and ate some of those sweet and spicy pickles. Oh, my mouth is like on fire, but in a sweet way. And it's delicious. I am gonna read for a little bit. I don't have volleyball till late tonight and I'm gonna go work out right beforehand so we're just gonna hang out for a bit and we are finding out a lot about Miss Daisy and some of the things that she has had to endure and also what happened to uh, Julian and Daisy's parents and I didn't realize there was that big of an age gap between it's a 10 year age gap and I know like they discuss their ages at the beginning but for some reason it just hit when they were when everything went down with their parents Ooh. oh also big news <laughs> miss Taylor Allison Swift released the titles of her vault tracks for 1989 Taylor's version listen Taylor Swift is my Roman Empire I <laughs> I just feel the need to talk about her at any given point. If somebody even mentions her, I am on top of it. I just love her so much. I just want to be besties. I'd be so chill. I wouldn't be chill. And we'd we'd have a grand old goofy time together, me and Tay. Me and Miss Taylor. It just makes me so sad that like I'll never be friends with her. 
her like in real life. Just in my imagination. You guys, I haven't talked to you all day and that's because I haven't read all day and my bun is sinking. I just got back from volleyball and I need to get in the shower like ASAP. My feet are so dirty. Ugh, ugh, it's so gross. Yeah, I just feel really sandy. I got a package. The money that I used to buy my fall decor, which you can check that vlog out, was because I ordered two sweatshirts off Etsy. I had been waiting and waiting and waiting. The items that they shipped, they hadn't shipped. It had been three weeks and the shipping date, like it, the turnaround time for what they said, it had gone past. Then the shop closed down and Etsy said, hey, the shop closed and your items have not been delivered. Do an inquiry or file a case for this. So I did. It just seemed really suspicious. I mean, I got my money back. I don't know if they'll recharge me, but it was really suspicious and I just got it. We're just gonna open it and hope for the best. Vacuum sealed. They really said condensed. Like these are vacuum sealed. Oh my gosh, all right. All right, moment of truth, here we go. Okay, it's soft. It's a lot thinner than I thought, but let's check and see what. Oh my gosh, okay. It says no you hang up okay and I got it super oversized because I love to be cozy um, what size did I get? oh I got a large okay this is like looks like an XL which I'm not mad about because I was debating on getting an XL but oh my gosh it's so cute it's a lot thinner than I thought but like that's perfect I'm perfectly okay with that so yeah I got the no you hang up scream in a gray and then I was like we need to do something different. We need to get a sweatshirt color that you do not already own, Larissa. And I look good in sand. And I also look good in dogs that are dressed as ghosts with pumpkins on. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh wow. Oh, okay, it turned out so good. I am so happy. I liked embroidered things better. Um, I when I have done my own iron-on, it doesn't stick, and I have also ordered stuff with iron-on, and I thought it was like the, like this, like it's meshed in there. I don't know what kind of iron-on that is called. Um, screen print, maybe? I've ordered stuff that I thought was screen printed, and it just was like the iron-on stuff, um, and it doesn't stick, and it doesn't last, and so, and I just love the classiness of embroidered stuff. Like, I just love how fun and fresh and it just it just makes me want an embroidery machine so bad because I make this stuff all the time. I want it so bad. I've always wanted an embroidery machine. But then I could sell cute book merch or something. Oh, that'd be so fun. I'm gonna hop in the shower right now and get the sand off of me and maybe read for a little bit. special guest today. <laughs> he is so stressed out right now because my parents are not here and he hates me. Isn't that right Mr. Levi? Yes. Uh-huh. Yep. I, oh I had a really, <laughs> we're just gonna hold him while he pants and cries. I had an amazing workout today. I decided to start a new phase. It was a really good workout and I haven't had a really good workout in a really long time. Like a good good. I've had like good, but not good good, you know? So I had a really great workout. Very, very happy about it. Today, oh, it was leg day too, even. <laughs> leg day sucks, dude. Like it sucks so bad. So like for the fact that I had such a good leg workout, I felt great. Yeah, and I've just been like not 
feeling my best and like super bloated this past week like aggressively bloated to the part where my tummy is distended and it hurts that kind of bloating so that's a fun for IBS and you know what I know what it is and I refuse to acknowledge and accept it that um, I can't eat peas they cause a lot of digestional distress for me but I love them so much and I love making macaroni cheese peas and hamburgers like that whole mixture is such a comfort food for me and I thought I could do it I thought it'd be fine but it turns out it's not and I just have to accept that I still have two more meals um, with peas in them and we're just gonna deal with it as best we can we wash the sheets we changed the bed didn't we misters and now I'm just waiting for some more laundry to get done I plan to just hopefully finish Daisy Hates today or tomorrow I don't know it's taking me so long to read and not because and I'm loving it I love it so much I just like haven't been in a reading mood not like slump like but just haven't been plowing through and I've just been really taking my time with this one uh, which is fine sometimes you just need to slow down he's like please let me go find my parents I hate you so much <laughs> in that right down monster that's exactly what you're saying oh I know you just want to be anywhere else but he's so cute <laughs> so stressed all right um we are going to do something right now. Probably won't film much because my parents will be back soon. All right, we're gonna go deal with this stress, this stress pup. He needs a, an emotional support dog for himself, but he doesn't like other dogs, so. Unlikely. <laughs> so cute. Look at his little face. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. It is many hours later, it is seven o'clock. And I've, mm, this is why I hate doing laundry and meal prepping on the same day, cause it's my whole day. And then plus like with Levi here, he gets really anxious. I can't really go about cause he'll just cry and whine. I mean, he cries regardless. So I definitely could have just let him be. Got a little bit of reading done, not as much as I wanted, including my bed sheets. I did three loads of laundry today. I've been meal prepping for so long. I don't know why it took so long today because the stuff that I make is stuff that I make on the regular and it's stuff that is does not take long. That's a lie. I know why it took long. Cause I went to Costco and when I buy things in bulk, I have to chop everything up, like um, my bell peppers. I buy, you know, the bags, two bags. So there's 12 peppers and I chop them up and freeze them. And then I also buy a big hunk of ground beef and I divide that up and freeze that. So it just takes a lot longer for it to not take as long for the remaining parts of the month. I have some apple bread in the oven, that'll be done soon. I'm so excited. Typically apples go against my IBS. However, most of the time when I peel the apple, completely fine, because the skin of the apple is what like sets off my IBS. So fingers crossed that I didn't just make a double batch of apple bread to not be able to eat any. It's fine, I can always give a loaf away or both loaves away, but I think I'm gonna freeze one of them so that way I have it for a rainy day, as well as like gluten-free flour is expensive. I ended up <laughs> being gifted apples and tomatoes, and I was gonna make marinara sauce today, but I, I just could not stand anymore. I just got so many apples and so many tomatoes that I, I need to do something with them because I don't want to waste the food. I think I'm going to watch Goblet of Fire while I edit some stuff. I have it. <laughs> so I made it, I only have one bread loaf pan that I just bought. So I just have the other one in an eight by eight pan. And I'm gonna like wrap up and freeze the, the loaf pan because that's just easier. But here we go. I'm kind of nervous. I don't feel like it's gonna taste good. It's still warm. It tastes very much like bread with apples in it. I think I was expecting more of like a coffee cake. This is very much 
bread. Very understated sweet, not too heavy on the apple. I think I'm liking it more and more as I'm eating it. Oh wow, my camera battery is real close to dying. Ow, my button. Okay, focus, focus, we can do this. Just ate lunch, actually, I, so. <laughs> Woke up this morning at like 4.30, just ready to go. And I said, absolutely not, you are going to go back to sleep. So instead what I did was go on my phone. <laughs> I'm horrible and um, I tried going back to sleep and finally fell asleep around 6 30. Woke up at around just before 9. At least I made up for those couple hours lost and when it worked out had another fantastic workout. I am so happy right now. I haven't switched the exercises in my workouts but I've switched the rep ranges which makes a big difference. I, I haven't lifted heavy in a very long time. I've just been doing pretty much 10 to 12 reps each exercise and that gets so boring and like I haven't been progressing. I'm just like not motivated. And finally go back to cycling through our rep ranges. So I got back from the gym and ate some lunch and then I made a pumpkin matcha. I don't know. It, it's a combination of the matcha powder and the pumpkin creamer that I have that both are not great so this is adequate but I feel like I had to put so much pumpkin creamer in it for it to taste anything like pumpkin it's just the creamer I shouldn't I should have gone with the one that I knew I liked instead of trying a different one and that was on me. I ran out of my chai concentrate it's so cloudy out today it's supposed to rain today it was supposed to rain like an hour ago and it hasn't so I'm kind of bummed so I'll make it real cozy for reading because we're gonna read a bunch of little tasks to get down so I think I might just like alternate sprinting reading like read for an hour go do one task read for another hour go do another task and kind of break it up like that I have 130 pages left or no that's not right <laughs> Definitely not. I have 203 pages left. With my reading pace, it'll take me probably about five hours to read and finish this book. And I would really love to do that today. I obviously don't have the mind capacity to sprint for five hours. first hour is done of today and I made it to 246 what was that 43 pages wow look at me go I'm speed reader there were so many highlights that I did as well as just like the cute date that Daisy went on oh it was just so cute the way she initially dressed is I feel like the whole Haley Bieber and Justin Bieber that that one meme where she's super cute and he's just in ratty clothes when she didn't understand what they were doing on the date this quote and I just feel it and I feel like it's every girl that goes on a date that like looks nice and tries to look presentable and be cute huh <sighs> she goes I put in effort which seems to be a metaphor of us that I'm nothing worth putting effort in for that he'll not try for me at all and I'll die trying for him every time I've gone on a date and I've look so cute and I've gotten dressed I've done my makeup and then I show up and the guy's in it graphic tee with holes in it <laughs> it's just such an immediate turn off for me I'm just like a lot has developed and I'm really nervous because again we're not we're just over halfway in Magnolia Parks a lot happened in the last <laughs> few pages and I'm really nervous that that's gonna also happen and there's this one scene that I've been bracing for so I want to know the her side the scene that was in Magnolia Parks I'll do another sprint in a little bit but I'm gonna go get some stuff done <laughs>
something wild just happened at the club and ooh, obviously it's a gang so you know things are gonna go down did the protocol however someone felt left out poor daisy she's just been through it her reactions are justified and her responses to these events are understandable oh my gosh we're about to read the big the big incident i think the final big incident that they've all been kind of dancing around Daisy's such a badass. Oh, how terrifying all the stuff that she gets put into. Yeah, that, that last one was a scary situation. It definitely explains her issues and her brother's issues and all of it. Oh my gosh. It's raining and it's so lovely. I still have my rain ambiance on because why wouldn't I? But yes, it's raining and finally 100 pages left. So exciting. It's so weird reading the same time frame as Magnolia Parks in a di like different perspectives because like in Magnolia, with Magnolia and BJ, I was like, oh, this is so tumultuous. You can tell they really love each other. And yes, it was very toxic. And, um, but like you understood where they were coming from and you can like relate. This just goes to show how talented an author Jessa Hastings is because like as we're reading Magnolia and BJ's situation in Daisy Hates, you're just like, wow, these people are horrible, awful people. Like they don't care about anyone but themselves and are super selfish. And it's just so crazy how much I like kind of dislike both Magnolia and BJ in Daisy Hayes. Not that they, I mean, they come up quite a bit. The different perspectives of the same time period, the same characters. Not that Magnolia's situation wasn't messy to begin with and she did not handle it well. Again, you saw her thoughts and feelings and everything. And you see Daisy's feelings and everything too. And I love Daisy as a character. She's a little <laughs> aggressive. I guess you could say, but she has to be. She's tough. She, Daisy's, she's a tough gal. Warmed up some of my apple bread and made some ginger tea, and I'll probably have a couple cups of these because it's my favorite ginger tea. Just over two hours left. page 353 and we're getting the aftermath of the end of Magnolia Parks. So this is after Magnolia Parks ended. Regarding Tara, Tora, I don't know how, I call her Tara, so. She's surprising everybody, myself included. I like her. She just, she just seems decent, which is kind of rare right now in the female characters of this universe. <laughs> Daisy is going off the walls. On one hand, I'm just like, get it girl. But on the other hand, I'm like, girl, go to therapy. <laughs> I finished it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Finally, right? It's been over a week since I started this book. Or has it been exactly a week? It's been around seven days. And it was so good. I just heard another booktuber talking about this. Like, are you in a book slump or are you just busy? And I am just busy. All of my volleyball leagues have been overlapping as the summer session winds down and the fall sessions begin. Just a bunch of other stuff has been going on. Yeah, I've just been too tired to like put in a lot of effort. So yesterday, thank goodness, didn't really have much going on for the first time in a while. 
and I was able to finish Daisy Hates. So just a quick little wrap up, multiple POVs between Daisy, Christian, and Julian. Like I was saying, this takes, I know I said it multiple times, but this takes place at the same time as the Magnolia Parks book. It does start a little later and end a little bit later, so we see a little bit of that transition and what's going on, and I'm excited to jump into the third one. While Magnolia Parks is just very much about a tumultuous relationship, a push and pull, the extreme, just the relationship aspect of it, there's not much action, it's more character based. And that's the same as like Daisy Hates, however, there is definitely more action. In Daisy Hates, with Julian being a crime lord, there is obviously going to be some action, but it's still very much like character driven. I really like how the fact that each narrator, it's, they're telling the story like this is already in the past and they're just reflecting upon it and all of their choices. So like they're talking to you about this, getting all the hot goss, or even like maybe they're in therapy <laughs> because a lot of the stuff they're saying, it's, it's a lot. So they're working through some stuff. Really love that style of narration, more connecting, and I love that. I love Tiller, oh my gosh. I didn't think I was gonna like him, I thought he was gonna be so annoying. He keeps showing up and him and Daisy flirting and all of that stuff. I feel like this quote, and I know I shared it before, it, but it really sums up the whole vibe of this book specifically. Like when you don't realize it's raining and it doesn't feel sudden, not like the sky was blue and you turn around and then it's pouring but like it's been overcast the whole time and then it's one drip and then another and then another and then another and then you're saturated and you can't really tell which drip saturated you, but it happened slowly and snuck right past you. I feel like it's slow moving plot, but like it, like I said, and like the quote says, it just sneaks up on you and all of a sudden you're really invested in these characters and you don't really know how that happened. So it's like a, a slow falling. I love this cover and I'm very happy that I decided to invest in the indie covers before they were traditionally published. Like the traditionally published ones, they're, they're cute, they're fun, but um, this I feel like just sums up the vibe of the whole book and everything on the cover means something. Like the washing machine is on there, that's so funny. And I, I cannot wait to continue on with the series. That's gonna wrap up this reading vlog. Thanks for sticking it out with me, oh my gosh. Respect others, respect yourself, and do something amazing with your day. Thanks, bye. <laughs>